I'm going to show you how to adjust this image so that it's perfect. And where I'm seeing imperfection is the logo down here that's placed exactly where it needs to be placed is touching this a little bit. So I want to move this picture over, but this picture is full frame. And so I need to move it over a little more and add some extra space on the end. So there's this trick that I learned and I'm going to show you how I do it now. So I'm going to duplicate this image, just uh, control D on a PC or command D on a Mac and reposition it on top of itself. And then I'm going to send it to the back so I can see my logos in front. Then I'm going to move this one on top over to where I want it to be positioned. And you can see we're just continuing the background here of where we're at. Maybe I can move it over a little bit more. Just that white space alone kind of has that logo fit nice. So I'm going to so I'm going to get my crop tool and pinch it back in so that I can see what my actual slide looks like. But you can see there's this little line here. It's very subtle, but you know, if I go full frame, you can kind of notice it. So I'll show you how to fix that. This is going to blow your mind. So hang with me here. I'm going to zoom out a little bit. And so the moved over image is here. The background image is here. I'm going to crop this image to that exact spot where the other image starts. Okay. So you see where the other image is and it snap, it should snap right to it. It does. Okay. So that's part one. And then part two is we have to flip it. And so how do I do that? Well, let me zoom in a little bit more. Don't need this anymore. So I am going to just it's like stretching the image, but then I'm going to move this over to the beginning and then move this back here. It's, it's basically flipping the image. But what's happening is it's taking the pixels that it was right next to and multiplying the pixels there so it does a fade into it. So if you look at it, you don't see the line anymore. Look how clean that is. And that was just a simple fix, really quick, all done in PowerPoint. As graphic designers, we have Photoshop too, and we could have done that easily in Photoshop. But for people who don't have Photoshop or don't use it, this is a quick fix to extend an image and have it center better. I hope you like this video, and please hit subscribe so I can share more videos with you.